Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today we have another One Pattern Three Ways series. So um, I did a top last time in February, so we've kind of skipped a month. March got really busy with stuff on the channel. <laughs> Um, and now we are doing bottoms and then I'm going to do a series on a topper of some sort. So ideally you could make like a whole little module um, if with everything if that's kind of what uh, you're into and, and putting things together that way. Um, yeah, so we're using the Persephone Pants by Anna Allen um, Clothing. Anna Allen Patterns? Anna Allen Clothing? I feel like there's clothing in there somewhere. Anyway, um, using the Persephone Pants, which are a pair of sailor pants. Uh, they actually, the pattern actually has a button fly. Um, I'm not going to be using a button fly. I'll tell you why in a second. It's a crop pant. It also comes in a short length. Um, shorts. Now, the size range is not huge on this. Uh, so I do have some recommendations. I think uh, if you're wanting more of a jean look, I think that the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans, the wide leg versions, are a very similar um, style. Uh, and she's got a um, two different size ranges in that. I think that the Love Notion Patterns Glissando pants, she's got a huge size range. Um, I think that those would be a very similar uh, dupe as well. They're very, very similar in that there's no pockets. They also have a button fly. Um, they're a wide leg crop. And I think she's got even a fitting workbook that comes with that pattern um, with the Glissandos, the Love Notion Glissandos. Um, also, the uh, True Bias Lander Pants. I had someone ask me a difference between I've made all of those, all those pants I've just mentioned. <laughs> and they're all pretty similar. So just kind of, um, you know, pick one that you maybe like. Um, and it's all basically, I think you could do the same things with all of them. Now the Megan Nielsen one does have more of a jean feel because you've got like the pockets, but you could omit the coin pocket and, you know, change up. You know, it's got the yoke and stuff. So it does look a little more like jeans than these. But if that, you know, if you're wanting to use more denim, heavier duty or fabrics, that might be fine. Um, and the Megan Nielsen also comes with a short version and she has a skinny leg version and a straight leg version. So um, yeah, there are options. So I'll link all of that down below. All right, <clears throat> so my first pair of her, well, this isn't my first pair. I actually made a pair of pleather ones uh, for a Sew the Look, but uh, this is the first pair for the One Pattern Three Ways. The pleather ones actually aren't even gonna be in this series because, um, I don't know, I kinda wanted to do more spring and summery versions, and that one definitely reads more fall and winter, so. <laughs> All right, so I have done a denim pair. Now. Like I mentioned, this pattern, it, it comes with these little patch pockets in the front. I omitted these for my pleather ones, and I haven't decided. I'll probably omit them on at least another one other pair, just to give more of a sleek um, finish. And I'll kind of talk a little bit about my plans for the future ones at the end. But I've made mine out of a uh, lightweight denim, um, and I think this is maybe a 10-ounce denim, maybe an 8 um, I'll leave it linked down below. It's a Minerva fabric. It is an affiliate link. I do have affili affiliate links with Minerva, but I think it's a, is it a Mind the Maker? I think it's a Mind the Maker denim and it comes in a whole bunch of different colors. And I love this because it's so interesting. This one's called Bleached Algae, I think, or something along those lines. Um, again, it'll be linked below, but it has like a green hue, if you can kind of tell. And because the denim has been bleached and you can kind of still smell the bleach, it makes it very soft and supple. Like it is not a stiff denim at all, but it's still thick. Like you can still get pants out of it, but it's just very soft because it's been treated. So, um, love this. And it's just such an interesting color. It's very, very different. I made the straight size eight. Um, yeah, I made a straight size eight. Oh, I did, no, I did a size 10 and the waistband because I changed the fly a little bit. But I didn't make any adjustments to the top of the pant, like it's a straight size eight at the top of the pant. So I think that the size 10 waistband just gave me leeway and I'll show you why, because my fly is different than the one on um, the pattern. But it's a straight waistband because it sits right at your natural waist, comes with the, um, Carriers, belt carriers, uh, the pattern does use a, bu a button fly. It's got the little pockets, which I put onto this pair, and then the back is uh, a couple of darts. Now these pants are interesting because there's no side seam. So the only seam that connects is the um, inseam that goes up and around. And I actually even got this top stitched because I was being a sewing ninja. <laughs> I mean, I always top st stitch my inseam 
on my jeans, but normally I they're open. You know, I haven't haven't done the outseam yet, but the outseam's already done because um, there is no outseam <laughs> on this pair. But I was able to get it done. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, and then it has a nice the pattern comes cropped or with shorts, and then it has a nice big like one and a half inch uh, hem allowance um, down at the bottom. Now. Let's talk about the changes that I made to this one. I don't have a video to send you to this time, but I will on the other ones because I did do a zipper fly. Because this is a high-waisted pant, there's a lot of abdomen that's on display. And I just find, I mean, I've had twins and i also not in a gym a lot ever. So <laughs> I don't have a super flat stomach, um, especially an abdomen. And I just feel like buttons just put more bulk. I mean, I'm not... I'm not one of those that's like, oh, my stomach has to be flat. I need everything to look flat. I'm okay that my stomach looks rounded in that area. I mean, that's the nature of high-waisted jeans. I'm fine with that. But I don't want to add, like, a lot, a lot of bulk. So two reasons for the zip fly. Number one, I feel like button flies just add bulk, because they do, visually. And number two, I also feel like zippers just kind of suck you in a little bit better. <laughs> like, it feels like everything's just, like, where buttons can pull. Um, so that's my reasoning behind going with a button or a zipper fly. And actually, the pattern company does have a zipper fly, um, extension pattern that you can buy. It's, I don't know, like a couple bucks or whatever with instructions and also gives you another pattern piece. But I was, I was able to do it without that. And I have a stray thread here. So, and I can definitely show you guys how to do that. So the reason I needed the extra, um, width on the, um, waistband was because I have this little extra bit that comes out, the fly shield, and the pattern does come with the fly shield. I've just done all this different. I also did a grown on fly. There's a piece, a fly piece that you sew on so that doesn't come onto the pattern. And that, I just feel like that adds extra bulk. So I actually, when I cut it, <clears throat> and you've seen me do this before, but I can definitely show it on, because I'll be doing it for all three pairs. So I can definitely show it on the next pair. Um, when I show you how to sew the fly, I'll show you how I just put that pattern piece onto the pattern piece of the pants and just cut around it to have a uh, grown on fly. I just, it's just the way I prefer to do my flies. So um, anyway, so I will definitely be showing uh, more of the fly probably in the next video that I do for this. Then just a simple jeans button. My battery is dying, two sex. Okay, so as far as hardware, I just have a jeans button that's on there. I chose gold because I went with, um, I look more of a jeans look. I went with like a classic jeans top stitching thread, like the classic color, like the gold color. Um, my top stitching is not perfect because I was undecided if I wanted to put the pockets on the front or not. And I had originally decided, no, I was just going to leave them plain. But then I'm like, you know what? These are denim. Like I would like a little bit of something breaking things up maybe in the front on this pair. So I had to put the pockets on after the back seam was already sewn. Ideally, you would put it on before you sew up the back seam. You know, you would do your fly and then put the pockets on. But I'd already done up the back seam and top stitched it and everything, um, you know, per the way you would do jeans. And um, so I was kind of like trying to top stitch them on. It's a curved pocket, which I can never get a good, you know, I do all of the easing stitches to get a curved pocket to look really good. I don't know. I Maybe I should have cut a, tem a template. That's probably the best way, but I didn't. So they aren't great, and the top stitching on them is not great. Um, but you know what? I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm fine with it with my wonky pockets, a little bit wonky pockets. Um, but I do kind of, I like them on there. I think that kind of gives, and the color of the denim, I don't know, they look a little bit more worn and relaxed, and I really like that. Um, now, I had mentioned, so these are going into my uh, current module that I'm working in, and I had reached, um, mentioned that I was going to do a full-length version of these, but because I made my Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans that are wide leg to the ground for the um, Style Maker Fabric, fabric Tour, I decided that um, I would do these cropped, because I just don't need two pairs of wide leg to the floor jeans in my light-colored <laughs> my wardrobe. So I did do these cropped. I will be doing a long version, but it'll be another one in a different fabric. So, yes! And I love the crop version. Um, and I think, I think I've got a little bit of wiggle room for him to shrink up just a little bit more. But I'm leaving it because you know I'm lazy and like to, um, I have such issues with my hems. So I don't know, like, because I dry my clothes, I guess. And I could lay them out and let them air dry. It's just, I have a lot of clothes that I let air dry. And it just, it, my whole house looks like a, a laundry house. You know, there's just laundry everywhere because I've got four people um, I guess my husband and son have everything that can be washed and dried. Nothing 
has to be air dried for them. But my daughter and I have a lot of things that have to be air dried and I just feel like it takes over the house. So um, anyway, yeah, my sob story, right? Um, but I love these. I love these so much. They're going into my spring wardrobe. You guys will be seeing them in the final module lookbook that I'll be doing here fairly soon um, for my first spring module. Yeah, they're just a great pant. Um, the only alteration I made to them, I did scoop out the back crotch curve a little bit. Just it's the shape of my butt. I need to do like a little extra scoop. Um, but I didn't even mess around with the rise. I had taken the rise, taken an inch out of the rise for my pleather pair. And while they're fine, I kind of, I wanted them more at my natural waist. So I'm only 5'2", which you would think, don't you have to take the rise out of all of your pants? I have a very short torso. So all of my height, <laughs> it's in my lower, it's from the waist down, basically. So proportionately, I am much longer from the waist to the floor than I am from the waist up. Proportion, I mean, everyone is, but proportionately. Um, my daughter's the opposite. She carries all of her height. She's also 5'2", but she carries all of her height in her torso and then has shorter legs. I'm the opposite. So um, I actually, I normally don't, other than taking the hem up on things, I usually even store-bought pants. I don't have as big of an issue buying store-bought pants because I'm also very rectangular shaped through my lower body. Um, so I took the rise back up an inch, but now I'm thinking it might be a tad high. <laughs> so for my next one, maybe I'll do a half inch. Just take everything down a half inch um, across the rise. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, for my next um, pairs, I am going to be doing, I think in, I've got some navy blue linen. I really want to do a linen pair and I think for the and I'll, I'll do those to the floor that'll be my one wide leg pant that I take to the floor I don't know if I'm gonna do navy blue I haven't really decided yet um, but I want them to be an unex like a not den you know not denim or white or anything I want them to be a little bit more unexpected so I may actually I may do a color make more of a statement pant um, but I would like to make <clears throat> I think in linen and I want to split, so right now the waistband is just a rectangle and it's one piece that gets folded over on itself. But if I do a pair of linen, I'm actually gonna split that waistband in half and have a waistband and then a waistband facing so that I can sew um, twill tape into the top of that waistband since linen has a real tendency to grow throughout the day and you want that to really fit and anchor in at your waist. So I think I may, I'll do that hack. I will definitely show you guys how to sew um, a zip in instead of doing the button fly and how I do a grown on fly piece instead of a sewn on fly piece, that's just my preference. Um, and I'll be doing a pair of shorts as well. So those are the other two pairs that you have to look forward to um, and playing around with just some different fabrics that we can use for these pants. Um, you know, cotton twill is great for these and I may, the next pair may actually be cotton twill. We'll see if it ends up being linen or cotton twill, but I'll definitely be sewing I'll show you how to sew the twill tape into the top just to keep things from stretching out. So yeah, there we have it. The Persephone Pants by Anna Allen Clothing and um, I love them. <laughs> They're just so fun. Uh, so anyway, that's all I have for today. My plan and my hope is that next week we'll have pant two and then the following week, you know, pant three. I mean, one of those would be a pair of shorts, but you get, get what I mean. <laughs> Version one, two, and three um, each Friday for the next... Um, three Fridays total, but the next two Fridays. So that's kind of the plan going forward. Um, Sunday, we've got more of our Vogue 1650 sew along. We're working on a trench coat and I hope to see you guys there. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and that you're able to get quite a bit of sewing in this weekend. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.